Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to matte your artwork. Matte is a just a fancy word for frame your artwork to make it look nice and neat and ready for hanging. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So your first step to matting is actually going to be preparing your black paper. How are you gonna do that? I have big pieces. Uh, this is basically like poster board paper and you're gonna use this to mat your paper. What you're not gonna do is you're not just gonna like willy nilly like free cut, okay? You are gonna need exactly half of one big piece. So all you're gonna do is take this big piece of paper, you're gonna fold it in half, make sure it's nice and even. This is going to end up making two mats. So you should be able to mat two people's artwork per piece of black paper, okay? Depending on your comfort level, you can now just cut along the line, okay? I am fine with that. We are not using the paper cutter because these are actually just a little bit bigger than the paper cutter and it's pointless anyways. So if you're gonna cut, you can get a pair of scissors out of the pink scissor box on the white cabinet beside the door, or you can, like I said, depending on your comfort level, you can fold this back and forth several times, make sure the crease is nice, and then you can just tear it. If you're going to just tear it, you do have to do that slowly and make sure that it's following the crease that you just made. It's not, you will waste the paper if you just try to rip it really fast, okay? So slow all the way to the end. Don't get to the end and then like, just try to do it quickly because it will tear, okay? So now you have two. This is now going to be your frame. So what you're gonna do now is set that to the side. You're gonna take your drawing that you did and you're gonna tear the tape off. You're gonna do that gently and at an angle, okay? So what do I mean at an angle? Get it started and then you're going to tear slowly at an angle, okay? Do not mat your artwork until I have approved you finished. The reason why is because you need to make sure you have this nice shadow and shading that goes all the way up to the edge because if you don't, the white border doesn't matter at all because you don't have one, okay? If your tape is overlapped in a funny way, don't, don't just rip it off. Um, take it here, work slowly, work it to the side, and then start again, okay? Nice and slow all the way around. Make sure you're tearing slow and at an angle, protecting it with this side, slow and at an angle to this side. If you try to just rip it straight, it is going to rip your paper, okay? If your paper starts to rip, stop, readjust, and slow down, okay? Remember when you're at the corners to turn slowly so that you don't rip those corners. Okay, that one's gonna tear off right there because it was on top. This tape, I should not find it in my floor. Please make sure that you put it in the trash. It is also not for shooting baskets. It is also not for throwing at our friends. So this is your uh, reminder. If I see you doing that, um, there will be consequences for that. We are not doing that. If your paper happens to come off a little bit on your tape like that, that's okay. Just make sure you're still tearing slow. You just don't want it to rip. But if little pieces of it kind of come up and off, that's not a big deal. Okay, so now you have your nice paper with your border, looks wonderful. Um, and then you're going to take your black paper. You're gonna take your artwork and you're going to center it to one end. What do I mean by that? Well, if I was just to center it on this, this end and this end are gonna have to be trimmed. If I center it to one end, then it's going to, I'm only gonna need one trim. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Well, I'm gonna scoot it down to where this side, the end, and the bottom are all the same. And I'm gonna have this little bit on the end I'm gonna have to trim off, okay? 
I'm gonna use the blue tape. You have some in your uh, art stuff if you bought it. If you didn't or were not able to buy some, I do have extras. You're going to use five pieces, one on each corner, one in the middle, just like so. And then you're going to get it, I call it centered on the end, it's not really centered, I guess it's heavy to one end, but you're going to make sure the far end, the top, and the bottom are pretty much the same. And then you are going to trim off this end. You're gonna trim off the end so that it's the same on all four edges. This, you can use the paper cutter for, okay? We're not playing with the paper cutter. We're not chopping 100 little pieces of paper. That's not what we're doing. Um, but you can use the paper cutter. Let's take a walk to the paper cutter. Um, so when you are using the paper cutter, you need to make sure that you are using it safely. Um, I don't need anybody having to go to the emergency room today. Um, you don't wanna go to the emergency room today, no fun. So here you are on the paper cutter. You can it up. You can use these little squares to align. It does not cut. It does not cut here, it cuts here. So you, the thickness of your paper should be about the thickness of that. So how would you adjust and measure that? Scoot this over so that the line of your white paper lines up with that black thing, that black line, and it'll be about, it'll be about the thickness that you want, okay? Make sure you scoot it up past the end here or it won't cut how you want. Use these lines across the top to make sure that your black paper is straight. That looks pretty good. And then just slow. We're not chopping like we're uh, chopping a thousand vegetables a million miles an hour, okay? So now you have your paper. Let's talk about signing it. You should sign, always sign your artwork. You're gonna sign in the bottom, if you're looking at it, it's the bottom right hand side. You're gonna sign it in pen, black pen, or black Sharpie, and you're gonna sign it just inside the artwork. Do not sign it here. Do not sign down here. You're signing it right here. So this student, when they get this artwork, they will sign it right here. When I say sign, I mean, sign it however you want. I don't care if you do it in cursive. I don't care if you do it in print. I don't care if you have a tag that you like to use. That is not a problem for me. Then this is done and you will put it in the stack for me. So this is what you're doing. This is how you will turn in a complete artwork and you will also take a picture and post in Google Classroom. So this is the picture you will post in Google Classroom. All right, good luck.